Hello everyone, it is March 25th. It's Wednesday today and this is Tyler from Socrates Trading. I want to get right into it. Okay, so um, yesterday was very interesting day. There's a lot of rebound stocks from the, the this bill that's almost been signed in Congress. So um, we saw some huge um, movement by companies like American Delta, hotel companies. The, the market as it as itself there there's just a lot of adjustment there and i traded five stocks uh imac aytu invex hoth and acres i think imac was the biggest surpriser over a thousand percent movement on the day so you, you don't see that very much that's that's a very very unusual situation and it just shows the um possibilities and opportunities each day in the market for day traders. Okay, so getting into this is um, AKER, AKER, this was my first stock, and I actually took a loss on this one. Um, it wasn't too bad, only about $200 loss, but I'll show you guys where my mistake was, and um, so you can see. So right here, we can see this is market open, March 24th, and gapped up, green, um, continued up, we can see just here it's weak there's not a lot of um indication that it's going to have much more um positive gain and and it did drop right here down um to around 267 and it, it was up over three close to 320 and then this is actually the movement where i jumped in here we can see here um, there was clear indication this thing was going to move and I waited I jumped in on the second candle at about 2.8 or 2.75 was roughly where I, I jumped in here and I wrote this one up um, I hung on too long as we can see down here this isn't a huge span of time just a couple of minutes and I held on and I just continued holding too long I thought once we got over three point two i thought we were going to go up to like four but unfortunately that did not happen and um unfortunately also i had a glitch in my computer system so um when we did start having the red candle i, I couldn't sell um it just came down and um i ended up selling at um around i held on for this whole movement i wasn't sure what to expect we had this green candle here I probably sold, um, it wasn't a huge loss, um, but I had a lot of share size. So that, that was the first stock. Um, this stock didn't do a whole lot for the rest of the day. It just kind of um, had very unusual uh, movement. Like this point at the very end of the trading day would have been one to get into this stock. We can see it had a nice move in the last um, half an hour. It came from like around 223 or 222 all the way up to around here 243 that would have been a very good move right there okay now the next play was AYTU this has been kind of on many people's radar here AYTU bioscience and um, this stock I think um, probably had more hype here than and didn't quite probably meet everyone's expectations as as some people would have hoped we can see it gapped up huge right here. This is the opening right here. I'll mean, zoom in a bit more so we can see. So we were around 1.86, gapped up well over 2, 210. Um, this is right at open here. With this one, um, the time to get in would have been right in the beginning here. So I'll just show everyone where. Okay, so right here. Um, red candle and then huge movement up. I didn't get in right here though. I got in um, further down. Right here actually was where I got in. It was, it had probably, you could tell this thing had totally bottomed out here. We were down to 1.7, 1.72. I came in around 1.75 on the screen candle. I wrote this one until this one. I actually, let's see here. I wrote this one from 1.75 to about 1.82, and then I sold. That was just a scalp move. Pretty solid though for a scalp. 
And that was the only move I did with AYTU, and then I, I didn't play with that anymore because it was too unpredictable. So Novax, NBA X was the next one, Novavax. I think this one was probably a little um, overhyped, honestly. I think people, as we can see, the general trend was downwards. Most of the volume you can see came in around this point, beginning of then, and so they had a decreasing graph. So on Novavax, so um, I was up, didn't make a whole lot, just a few hundred bucks on on this particular one. I'll show you it's right in the beginning where I, I hopped in here. Um, see, these were like this move in the beginning, or like um, there are only a few good moves to get in. Right at the beginning, for example, you could have jumped in here from 13.8 and ran it up to high 14s. Excellent move there. I jumped in though right here, and it, I um, kind of forecasted it would be more. Um, I got in at 13.5. I wrote it up until about 13.82. So just a um, real small scale move. It, it was very small, but it, it was fortunate that I had enough shares to get some profit there. And um, the other problem is the spread of, um, was just too much. This was difficult stock for that alone to play. And then I um, next move I did was, and this was the main stock I um, did many trades on was iMac. Um, iMac has been crazy. The um, like the the stock the past 24 hours. We're going to look at this here. Okay, so this was around a 45 cent stock, and this is just yesterday. Look at all this green. Look at this volume. It's insane here. All the way to the end of the day here. This stock gapped up to over two. I want to zoom in, or yeah, zoom in. We were sitting. This was gapped up to two um, when opening bell, and um, and then it came down. I went. Uh, this is actually where I jumped in right, right here. The first move around 1.6, and I rode this one up until about 1.8. Um, now keep in mind this stock was up like a thousand percent so i would i didn't know honestly this is a penny stock so i i just did this move very nice setup and then i sold and then i saw the stock moving just continuously upwards and just to keep this concise i'm not going to show everyone the moves i did but this was the other big move i made around 2.49 i wrote this one um up to about 2.78 so very big move for the um that, that's a lot of um, movement there so and then i the other big move i did was towards the end of the day i um i didn't get any of this movement i um okay so the next move i got was right here um it was around 2.8 and i wrote this one up to um about 3.1 so pretty strong um if you're wondering all these like um arrows or these like this is like when the stock was halted there were so many halts like i'll just show everyone this is ridiculous like if we look at here all of these lines here these um small um like this line, this this is all halts. This stock was halted like over 40 times. Just crazy, honestly. Like um, that many halts. But I think why they halted so many times was to keep the price upward trajectory or upward trajectory of the price. And that that was, um, yeah, a thousand moves. So you could have been, I mean, you could have had a really small stock, um, a share size, and, and still made off with quite a bit I mean even if I'll give an example like right here around when it was around 1.6 I mean you could have you could have had five hundred dollars at this point and and still made a couple thousand if if you had held until the very end I mean um it yeah just crazy you don't you don't see this type of thing 
hardly at all. But that was all the trades. So give me your feedback below and have a nice Tuesday or Wednesday.